So last night I was thinking, how can I make a connection for people who are interested in Microsoft Teams but maybe don't quite understand how the concept of a chat-based workplace works? And I was also beginning to think about when I use the term chat-based workspace, how that sounds a little strange. People are used to email. And so how can I make that connection? Then it occurred to me, well, wait a minute, everybody's using chats and text messaging on their phones and that is what we do inside of teams so let me show you that so I've got my phone up here it's Android and I'm gonna go ahead and click on messages I would imagine for people watching this right now you are not emailing your friends and family your close connections you're texting them so why do we do that well we do that because it's simple and it's easy if I want to click on a message here click on it and there's my friend and there's all the conversations just continuing. If I want to scroll up and grab some information that we had talked about in the past, I can. If I want to go ahead and just create a new message, I can do that. And everything's in the right place. It's automatically sorted. So while I have all my general messages right here queued up, if I click on any one of these, it takes all of the messages that we've had together and I can just scroll right through them and continue on in that conversation. And there's no lengthy signature files. There's no lengthy conversation threads in an individual comment. There's no spam messages in here. When I get an alert about a text message, I know it's relevant. It's not junk email. That's a very different experience than when I go into my personal email. If I go into my personal email, it's people further out from my friends and family. Or it might be conversations my wife and I might be having about people that are contacting us that we don't typically text. But the point is, it's a further out circle. It's not our close friends and family. And when I go in here, I'm working an email, it kind of just takes me back in time. Like, all right, if I click on this, it'll just be this conversation. If I have other things in here with, you know, people that are sending me sales solicitations, so of course it'll be a spam or maybe a scam email or two here and there. But it's a much messier experience than my text messaging. So that's why we're all using it. And it's just the text message. It may be a little, you know, emoji here and there, maybe a GIF, you know, doing something a little silly, but it kind of makes it fun. So so what if we could take those concepts of a private chat message, text messaging, and apply that in business? That if you had a platform that you could work with for all of your internal communication, that you knew that any correspondence back and forth with somebody was very relevant and it was just people inside the company and had the simplicity of being in a text messaging app. Well, Teams does that. Now I'm going to stay inside the mobile app for now. But let me show you. So here is my personal text app. So now I'm going to go into Teams. Now I'm with my my coworkers, and we have the same experience. So if I click on an individual, it has it's just a continuation of our conversations. I could go and start a new conversation. I could just respond to the one we have here. And everything's sorted nicely. It's very simple. If somebody's not on the list and I want to send a message to them, I could go ahead and select them. And it just pulls up all of our conversations are right there. And I can go ahead and create a new message. Very simple, very powerful. And when I get an alert here, I know it is relevant and it's important and I need to respond to it. I don't even have alerting turned on for my work email. My work email, again, I'm gonna stay in the mobile app for now. There's all kinds of stuff. You know, there's people who want to sell me things, people who want to scam me, mixed in with client emails, mixed in with company emails. And it's all just kind of dumped into this mailbox. Uh, and it's, it's pretty messy. If I click on an individual person, I will get, again, just that conversation with that person. There might be a thread in here, there might not, I don't know. But this is not as nice as being in the text app. And if I'm talking with somebody, I can just go ahead and continue our conversation. In Teams, if I click on any one of these people, like in the email, it was pretty messy. But in Teams right here, that conversations with that same person, it's all right there and it's easy to reference. There is the correlation between working on your phone what you're texting right now and you love it and you're using it constantly and then being inside of Microsoft Teams and then having the individual 
chats with people inside your company and just internal communications. But now what if we could take that a step further? What if we could take that and say, if we could take the concept of having an individual private chat message with somebody that's very relevant, very simple, text-based, but we could then apply that to a group of people, a department, a project, a client, a product. Teams does that as well. So now I'm going to move out of the individual chats and I'm going to move into the the teams. So here we have plenty more teams than this, but these are the ones that I have set as my favorites. So if I go into the marketing department, for example, they have their own channel. They have their own chat channel. And all of the relevant stuff is right here. I could scroll up and I could see further conversations if I wanted to, if I needed to remember one. I could uh, go ahead and here and I can like an individual message if I want to. I could save one as a bookmark if one, that one's important to me. Or I could start a new conversation right here. None of this is in my mailbox, which is beautiful. It's all very easy to see right here. And if a new person joins the marketing team, they then have access to all of this as well, which is different than when they get a mailbox in a company. It's just empty and people have to feed them stuff. And then right next to all of our conversations in the department are the files that we're working on together. And I'll take that a step further. Those files then can be synced using OneDrive and here they are right here. So it looks like a map drive connection. You don't need a file server. This absolutely can replace a file server. So here's the department chats, you know, and, and for our clients, our clients all have their own individual channel. And so if we need to work on uh, those, we have conversations here about the client, all the files about the client are right there. And again, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and choose to have a synced folder experience with any one of those file channels. And then you have these activities and chats right here. And then if somebody were to post to me in one of the chat channels, I would get an activity alert. And if I had three to look through, then it would just show the number three right on top of the activities. I could click on it, go right through it. It'll take me right to that spot and I can just reply to it. And the same thing with chats. If I had two, three, four chat notifications of people that had sent me stuff or needed my input on things, I could just click on it, click on the chat message, respond to it, and I'm done. Very simple. And that is a much nicer, much more efficient experience than working side of email. Because in email, if I go back here again, every unread message is effectively an alert that I got to look through and sort through and determine do I need to act upon and if it's relevant. Now, what if we could then take this a little further? What if this app was also your audio video conferencing system? Well, that's what Teams does too. Here's my meetings. I could click join and it will take me into this very nice interface where I will be able to turn on the video and so the other person there will be able to hear and see each other. What if also the phone system were in there? Well, Teams does that as well. So I could go in, here's my voicemail, here's my call history. If I want to make a call, I could click on there and dial right in there. So it is your internal communications for your individual conversations. It is your internal communications for all of your groups. Again, projects, products, clients, departments, all there, all in one place, automatically sorted by how you're using Microsoft Teams. And all of your audio video conferencing is there and your phone system is there as well. Now, lastly, I'm going to show you what the Teams desktop app looks like as well. I was spending a lot of time in the mobile app just because I wanted to make that correlation between going from your phone and how you're chatting and that you have this tight group of friends and family and you're using text messaging and chatting to work with them there. You're not using email. And I want to show how that correlated into Microsoft Teams on the mobile app. But now the desktop app is probably where you're going to spend most of your time. But all the same stuff is there. Here's my chats right there. Same thing, just like my phone. All those capabilities, the simplicity, everything's sorted nicely. The individual teams, if I went in here and by department, here's all the department's conversations. Here's all the files right there with each other. Clients, each client having their own channel and the conversations with them, the files for those clients. And again, still having that synchronized here using OneDrive and to be able to have that so you can drag and drop and do everything with those files inside of Windows File Explorer. And then your meetings, if I go in here, 
and I click on one of these, click join, and I have my video. It's my webcam's on right now for this video, but my video would pop up here, and then I have my my headset that I use uh, to be able to you know join the meetings. Also, I am here on the phone system, so my phone system is in here. If I want to dial, I can go ahead and dial right here. I could copy and paste a phone number in there. Here's my voicemail. Here's my call history. All of this stuff is right here for you, and and also the the chat notifications. If somebody sends me a private chat message. If I have two, three, four of them, I will, they will show up with a little number right there. And I can just click right through them and respond. And the same thing for the, the team's channels. If I have any, anybody that tags me in one of the posts, needs my input on stuff, it'll show a number of unread notifications. One, two, three, four. I can click on it. I can click on the item. It'll take me right to it. I can respond. Beautiful, beautiful system. And then what happens is Outlook simply becomes a place for communications outside the company. So, and that's really what it is for us. Outlook is for people I work with outside of Zerillion, and then I communicate with there. Everything internal goes inside of Teams. So I hope I was able to make that connection for you. You're doing tons of chatting right now, and it's within your close personal friends and family inside of your mobile device. Well, there's a reason you like that and if we could take that same experience and bring that into your workplace without going into your personal environment but you have an app that allows you to do private chats with you, people you work with and also group chats with people that you're working in a department project client or product how that can become very powerful and then also to have all your conferencing in there audio video conferencing and also your phone system in one place I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching